all the indie game scene. I have a lot to talk about these guys. Undertale, Five Nights at Freddy's, Off, Lisa the Painful, even fucking Garden of Ban Ban has a lot of variety and an infinite number of games. In the indie game scene there are a lot of interesting things, awesome things, terrible things and super generic shit. It's already difficult to see a game that brings a completely new and different concept, but seeing a game that gets something that is already used a lot of times and everyone's familiarized but does it so well that completely reinvents the thing is even more rare. And today I will talk about a game that does it on its own way. Today I'm talking about the game Ecorella, an indie turn-based RPG about talking plants and bipedal dogs. Believe it or not, this game that you are seeing on the screen is an RPG Maker game. I know people tend to deduce that nowadays all RPG Maker games are generic or medieval and very low effort stories that use fucking RTP graphics. But no, there are some games that are actually very well done, like this one that has completely original art and soundtrack. Even I tried to do something using this software and I made a video about it. If you like this one, consider checking it out, it's on the card popping out somewhere at the screen. Also, please listen, make sure to leave a like and a comment on this video. Also share it, I'm being serious, I'm a beginner channel and you doing that will help me a lot. So now, let's begin talking about Ecorella, the game. Hello friends, it's me again, the bad audio quality man. I missed you guys, how are you doing? I'm here once more to give you a warning. There will be a couple spoilers on this video, but don't worry, I'll warn you every time there is one, so you won't have any problems playing the game later. And watch until the end, cause some... Interesting stuff happens later, you see. First thing we can notice as soon as you open the game is that this title screen is absolutely beautiful. It has this amazing drawing and really happy song. Well, this game's going to be so fun, I'm sure there won't be anything creepy on it. <laughs> Uh, proceeding to it, choosing the difficulty and shit, we are now inside the game. And something that seems like a potato? He is watching TV and not her movie, really late. Not a very clever decision, but alright. After a while, he hears something that sounds like someone moving, and he goes to check what it is, and he sees something different. And then, after this amazing transition, We are at this house, Verde or Green, I think it's Green, I forgot his name, fuck it. Weedkid. Weedkid and his brother live in a small house that they had just moved to, and our brother asks us to stop watching TV and go buy his some flex tape to fix the sink and socialize. So we do as he wants and leave the house. I explore the building a little bit, drink some water, and I just want to make a quick note here about how this game graphics is so beautiful. It feels alive, colorful, and overall it's just really well done. And the city is also incredibly well made. The amount of really well written NPCs here make it feel like a real place with real people or real vegetables I guess. And plants. We then meet this punk, SNOR, the fucking most terrible person in existence. He tricks us into thinking we are his friend and then BAM does this. Snor is an asshole and the only good thing he ever did was exist so I could meet a female version of him. And Green too. I don't want to talk about it. But not a while after, we eventually find these two guys here that kind of balance things since they are pretty cool and Snor is an asshole. Palms and Aura. They eventually invite you to be friends but not now, they do take a while. And you three become inseparable friends. You all decide to sell some bottles and get some money to buy a table supper PG things. But fucking Snor gets on the way and ruins everything. Fuck you Snor! And that leads to a series of events that leads to a series of events that make you all team up with a red dog that as I said, it's about plants and bipedal dogs, not just plants and plants. But of course, this story isn't simply about a group of friends dealing with normal things. Normal to an extent, I guess. As you saw in the first scene of this game, there is some weird shit going on. Coming back home later, this guy begins to act weirdly. He begins asking you to stay with him, repeating that it's better for you to stay with him. But you don't do that, of course. And this happens. After running away more, you eventually enter this place that seems like a limbo made out of memories and nightmares. This part is absolutely terrifying. It's full of things that Weedkid had previously experienced. But it can get worse, since your brother... Warning, big spoilers ahead, skip about 15 seconds.
And you remember when I say this game kind of reinvents a concept seen before? This is what I'm talking about. This ooh, cute little game that hides a creepy mystery or the quirky RPG that blah 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 thing is really overused. But Aquarella manages to make it in a really good way. And the way they do that is that they don't force it. It feels natural. It all starts with this happy and kinda cute in some quotation marks, but not in a way that feels forced and too friendly. It's a kinda realistic word, you know? When I say realistic, I mean that the characters feel like real people. They have their own charismatic personalities. They talk in a way that real people would. And this is something that I appreciate a lot in games like this. The way the characters are built. And Nicolella does this majestically. And about the scary parts, guess what? They are actually scary. And the way their horror is built is very good. The designs of their characters aren't just kinda distorted and who sharp tips. No, they actually look fucking bizarre. This game is just very competent in all aspects. The art is very good and has its own style, it's kinda stylized but not too exaggerated. The script is also very good, all the characters are very memorable and shit. The way the ambience is built is very nice and the music is also really good. It varies a lot in genres but overall is consistent enough. It's just really good. I don't want to talk a lot more about it so I won't give a lot of spoilers cause I really want you to play this game, like I recommend it a lot. For those who don't know, this is a remake of the original. The original is... <laughs> okay guys, I have just downloaded this game, apparently it's called Aquarela 2. I think it's the sequel or the complete remake. What are the controls? Are just the arrows? Fuck. I like the graphics more. It's... Com... 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 What the fuck? No way, it's Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's. So I recommend you to play its demo and wait for the game to finally release. They have a page on Twitter, it's this one that's popping on the screen. And I also have one, follow me. So yeah, this is pretty much what I have to talk about. Make sure to please leave a like and a comment and check the other videos. If you enjoy my channel, even subscribe. I recommend you checking this resident video here. It's really good and one of the best I ever made. Please don't just ignore this as a generic YouTuber channel. I'm a beginner and you doing that will help me a lot. So now, goodbye.